So I'm saying that tonight to anybody who might be watching, watching. Okay? We have no problem in terms of them being there, we just want them to behave themselves. In some instances, we have witnessed them going into lines on the outside, asking for identification of voters. That is against the law for them to ask for anybody's identification. There have been instances where if a person has been convicted of a felony or maybe has is back, has back in the child support, but they may try to question the person on that. They're not to do that. That has nothing to do with the person's right to vote. And I'm not saying that the person shouldn't pay child support. Yes, they should. Okay? Yes, they should. But the challengers are out of line if they go into a person's private life like that. I think you all have heard about the foreclosure situation. That is pending in federal court. And a number of organizations have entered into amicus briefs with that particular situation. But again, whoever is trying to impede the progress of the voting population of the state of Michigan, or of residents of Michigan, just because someone has been foreclosed upon does not mean they lost that they lose their citizenship. Okay? Number one, if you've been foreclosed upon, you have a redemption period through which you can go through. And number two, even if you have been foreclosed upon, you live someplace, mm -hmm. and you're still a registered voter. Okay? The other misnomer that's out there is about the t-shirts. You know about the t-shirts? Yeah. Okay. I, I think I received emails from everybody in the room about the t-shirts. This is not a new law. This law has been on the books forever, as long as I've been here, as long as I can remember. The law indicates that, number one, campaigning can only occur 100 feet away from the entrance to a polling site. And for someone to come to the entrance or into the precinct with campaign paraphernalia, whether it's a hat, whether it's a badge, or whether it's a t-shirt, is another form of campaign. Okay? That's on either side, whether it's the Republican nominee or whether it's the Democratic nominee. It's not anybody that needs to signal out. Okay? Now, we've had this kind of things happen before, but if what we say to people when they come into the precinct, let's say with a t-shirt on, we, the workers will tell them, look, in order for you to receive a ballot, you must conceal your t-shirt. Okay? Well, guess what? It's November. It's going to be cold outside, so you can cover it up with a coat. Right? And in some instances, we've asked the person that's in the summertime, if you go into the bathroom and turn the shirt on the wrong side, we'll take care of it. Okay? You have to be careful about these kinds of uh, any windows and rumors that are out there because they are designed to discourage you. They are designed to discourage you. You all know that. And you should not be discouraged by anything or anybody. This is your right. This is your right. At this time, I might have gone over my time. I would like to, I think it's a good thing if we kind of open it up for Q&A because I think I've said a lot. And I'm sure there are questions that you all might have that I would be happy to answer if I can. If I can't get the answer for you, I will research it for you and get back with you at another time. Questions? If you have, if you have a question, you can talk to the mic. Thank you. 
producers. So I guess I was just wondering what are the reasons that it tends to be unfavorable? You know, we receive so many that in some cases they, they, they indicated there was no such house number. It was a thing of why. Or whatever the case may be, so it was a variety of things. Okay, thank you. Believe me, 